Hey guys, welcome to Emory Cryptocurrency. My name is Nemo, and in this video, we're going to illustrate how to be potentially eligible for the MetaMask airdrop. In past couple of days, we heard some rumors around that MetaMask might have a, a snapshot for this airdrop on March 31st. But the thing is, MetaMask even tweeted that these are, are rumors. But the thing is, they did not deny that there's no airdrop. So it seems there is still a speculation that there is going to be an airdrop and in order to get an airdrop, you have to interact with the MetaMask. And you know, by transferring by itself, it's not a good, you know, estimation that you might just uh, be eligible for airdrop because everyone using the MetaMask, uh, it, this is not a good indication. How are we gonna use it? How are we gonna be potentially whitelisted for airdrop? We gotta use other features that MetaMask, uh, you know, have. And in order to find the features that we're gonna use it, first we have to press on MetaMask, then you going onto a portfolio site, that shows your portfolio on a MetaMask. And then there's a couple of things that we gotta use. We gotta use swap, bridge, and stake if you want to do it, but I'm, I'm not gonna use it for the sake of this video because I know staking, you gotta use a Rocket Pool and the uh, Lido stake Ethereum. I'm not gonna use it, but you're more than welcome to do it. Maybe it will increase your chance of receiving the airdrop. Maybe it doesn't, who knows? So the first thing we gotta do, we gotta do a couple of uh, bridging because I'm just gonna do it with the bridges first. I'm gonna choose Polygon. There's a lot of maintenance you gotta use in case if you don't know how to do MetaMask, how to work with MetaMask. We already made a video how to install the MetaMask for extension, how to work with it if you have any like question for it. So as you can see, there's Ethereum, Optimism, BNB Chain, Polygon, Arbitrum, Avalanche that supports for the bridge. And you use a, let me go for the Avalanche and the token that I'm gonna use is USDC. I'm gonna go, 50. So you choose the first network that you want to send. The second network, you choose the amount, which is going to be above the 30. Because if you put 20, it would say it's got to be above 30. Yes, yeah, see, uh, we didn't find any option for this child. Try bridging at least $30. So this is you have to consider as well. I choose 50. And it depends on which route is going to give me the best one. So you give you $49. Uh, sometimes you have to consider the gas fee as well. That's why I'm not going to bridge from Ethereum to anywhere, despite the fact that I have Ethereum in this wallet as well. I'm choosing uh, Polygon to Avalanche. And this one, you use Seller Bridge. Let's go with, so let's switch to Polygon. Switch to Polygon. And you're just going to see it again. I think it's going to use a Seller Bridge again. Yes, it does. Yeah, I guess he's fine. All right, let's confirm this. The max number, I'll go with 50. Let's go max. Doesn't really matter. Uh, one cent, approve, and let's see how long does it take. Transaction submitted. And now it's gonna take some time, as I said, eight minutes, but let's see how it is. We've got to fast forward until the transaction has, has been approved or we might face any problem. Okay, it seems we have to submit the transaction again because I think the first one was a confirmation of allowing the MetaMask doing this. Oh yes, so we have to confirm it twice, same as the other places. I thought this one's gonna be a little bit different. So as you can see, it shows a submission completion in uh, 10 minutes, roughly speaking, GMT plus seven. All right, in case if you don't know how to import the, uh, for example, USDC in our case, the coins tokens, we just go on a coin market cap. We just find the coin that we're gonna import. Then we search on the contract sign. We gotta look for Avalanche. And then we copy, we go to the MetaMask again, import a token, and we paste. I think I already add this one before, so that's why it just doesn't show because I think I turn off the, let's go, let's go for the setting, general. Uh, I turn, yes, hide the token without balance. So if I press off, we might, we should be able to see USDC. Or a couple of others, couple of others as well. So yeah, let's just wait to see if we receive the USDC. Okay. Meanwhile, the bridging is going to be on a process. Let's do a couple of swaps as well. Uh, we are going on uh, Polygon uh, Mainnet. Polygon Mainnet. Yep. And we gotta do a couple of swap between USDT, USDC, and USDC. Let's go with USDC to USDT. 50. Sometimes you have to consider that's for the gas fee and the swaps as well, because 
This is maybe connected to a couple of uh, decentralized exchanges, but uh, when you want to get a quotation, the gas fee might be high, especially on Ethereum, and even the swaps, uh, the slippage got to be, it's too much. So you have to consider this one as well, like, you know, $50 to 49 Point five. If you do swaps in a couple of other decentralized exchanges, you might get a better rate. But we are using this for sake of be eligible for potential a drop. So I'm just gonna approve this. Okay, there was some technical issues. For some reason, it was just showing me that I have 0 0.000049 USDT rather than 49. So I was just confused. How? What is going on? So uh, sometimes. That's a good thing, like when we make these sort of videos, you might face this problem as well. Like if you watch a lot of videos that shows that like we've done this, we've done this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, and just leave you to do everything by yourself. And that's why this video is such a, a good example that sometimes you might face some problems that you don't know how to fix. So I was just uh, looking at it, that was just, and I was just saying like I have zero point, like zero, 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 four, nine, 54 so basically i had uh, less than even one cent of uh usdt despite the fact that i transfer around 50 usdc to usdt so if you find if you you know find yourself in this sort of problems because i was just looking at my wallet uh on the polygon uh scan it was just showing that i have it in case if you face this sort of problem just go on a metamask the coin the token that you have just press on it this dot and then hide USDC and then again go to import token then add the token again and you can see because I already have it it doesn't let me add so this is how you fix this problem as well let's go now transfer it back to USDC again swap uh, we gotta go USDT 50 insufficient balance max to USDC Oh, yes, I received it. Let's see what happened with the bridge. So bridging in process, our bridge is completed. So let's go back to Avalanche. Even if you don't know how to do it, just press on switch to Avalanche in MetaMask. You just switch it by yourself. <laughs> and as you can see, yes, I received my USDC on Avalanche. Let's transfer it back again. So this one, Avalanche to Polygon. And I don't think you guys need to watch this part. You already know what you got to do and how's the process. We just got to go with maximum. We will wait for any quotation. And then two minutes. That's good. Oh, that's all right. 14 cents. But that makes sense. It gets $1 as well. So, yeah. Okay. And we finally receive our USDC. I'm just going to quickly show how to do staking as well. I'm not going to stake, but I'm just going to show it to you guys. So first you have to go on the Ethereum mainnet. Let's go Ethereum. You got to press on stake. You got to choose between rocket pool or the light of finance. Let's go rocket pool. You press stake and then the, the amount that you want to do 0 0.2. And then it shows you got to, how much you get to get yearly or monthly. Rocket pool second capacity is nearing its limit, so we have to choose the other one. Let's go light of finance, zero two, and then you have to review it first, calculating the rewards. You just calculate how much you get monthly and yearly um, as a return on investment. You have to review it first. And then it shows a gas fee as well. Let me see, estimated gas fee, $22. I'm pressing confirm, but I'm not going to confirm it by my MetaMask. But this is how you got to do. Uh, this is how much you have and it gets you $12 as well. I think you have to accept it twice as well. And then you get uh, STE as well. So you have to consider it. You, you're not going to put it as the, you're not going to lose it. You got to get the STE that you can work on care finance as well. You got to get a loan on it. So if you don't know how to work with the, um, why the finance of rocket pool make sure write in the comment section i might make another video all right guys that's it for today hopefully you enjoyed this video if you learned something uh press that like button uh, and pr subscribe as well if you have any other questions write in the comment section i'll answer it as quick as possible thank you